Dreaming of a life with endless wealth is a fantasy as old as time. We picture the children of the ultra-rich enjoying a financial utopia, never worrying about money. Yet the reality often falls short of this ideal. Elizabeth Holmes is no visionary. She's a fraudster who's risked people's lives and, if convicted, faces 20 years. Some who once basked in affluence now face financial struggle, either due to their own choices or those of their wealthy parents who opted not to pass on the fortune. Join us as we delve into the stories of billionaire kids who are now broke. Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes founded the biotech company Theranos in 2003 when she was just 19 years old. She claimed that Theranos had revolutionary blood testing technology that could perform a wide range of tests on just a few drops of blood. Holmes modeled herself after Steve Jobs, dressing in black turtlenecks and speaking passionately about how Theranos would revolutionize healthcare. She was lauded as the youngest female self-made billionaire in the world, with a reported net worth of $4.5 billion in 2014. However, warning signs emerged as industry experts raised doubts about whether Theranos' technology actually worked as claimed. In 2015, a Wall Street Journal investigation found irregularities and inaccuracies in Theranos' blood test results. This sparked increased scrutiny from medical regulators and federal agencies. It was revealed that contrary to Holmes's claims, Theranos was using modified third-party devices for blood tests rather than its own proprietary technology. In 2018, Holmes was charged with massive fraud by the SEC for deceiving investors and patients about Theranos's capabilities. She settled the charges by paying a $500,000 fine, being barred from serving as an officer or director of a public company for 10 years, and returning millions of shares to Theranos. The company shut down in 2018. Holmes was then indicted on federal wire fraud charges over false claims made to investors and patients. In January 2023, she was convicted on four counts and faces up to 20 years in prison for each count. The spectacular rise and fall of Theranos has led to Holmes's reported net worth dropping from $4.5 billion at its peak to zero as of 2023, according to Forbes estimates. Her reputation as a visionary inventor has been shattered, and she has gone from being hailed as the next Steve Jobs on magazine covers to being convicted of fraud and awaiting sentencing. The Feenies Becoming a billionaire is often deemed an unrealistic dream for most of us and inheriting billions of dollars would be an even more amazing version of this goal. Such was the case for Chuck Feeney's five children. However, Chuck had different plans. Entrepreneur Chuck Feeney amassed an immense fortune of $8 billion by co-founding the global duty-free shoppers retail empire in the 1960s. While living the dream of becoming a billionaire, he wasn't content with just that achievement. He set himself a more profound goal. His mission? to give away his entire multi-billion dollar fortune while still alive. Beginning in the 1980s, he made a pioneering commitment through the foundation he founded, the Atlantic Philanthropies, to donate nearly all of his wealth to charitable causes during his lifetime. When Feeney signed Bill Gates's Giving Pledge Initiative in 2010, promising to give away the bulk of his fortune, his remaining net worth was only around $2 million representing less than 1% of the billions he had already generously donated over the prior decades. The Atlantic Philanthropies Foundation funded major education, science, healthcare, civil rights, and humanitarian initiatives around the world. Rather than leaving his billions to his children, Feeney focused on using his wealth strategically and at scale before he passed away. Feeney exemplified the notion of giving while living, successfully giving away over 99% of his fortune while still alive rather than leaving it for inheritance. His children never expected to receive, nor felt entitled to, their father's billions. They supported Chuck Feeney's hands-on, anonymous approach to philanthropy, aimed at bettering society in meaningful ways during his lifetime. On October 9, 2023, Chuck Feeney passed away at the age of 92 in San Francisco. He had essentially given away almost everything he earned while retaining only modest personal possessions and living arrangements until the very end. Feeney's focus on strategic philanthropy over dynastic wealth 
established him as an iconic role model for fellow billionaire donors including Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. Kids of Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis Famous actor couple Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis have amassed a collective net worth estimated at around $325 million million through successful entertainment careers spanning over 25 years. Their relationship originated as co-stars on That 70s Show before romance bloomed years later. Kutcher and Kunis have two young children together, daughter Wyatt Isabel and son Dimitri Portwood. However, despite their considerable wealth, the down-to-earth parents have no plans to set up substantial trust funds or leave an extravagant inheritance to their kids. In interviews, Kutcher has stated unambiguously that his and Kunis's fortune will not be used to make their children enormously rich. He insists they will not provide everything handed to them, as he wants them to build character through some degree of self-sufficiency and appreciation for what they have. Kutcher stresses that Wyatt and Dimitri already live incredibly privileged lives compared to most. He believes exposing them to all the opportunities that wealth can provide without the burden of trust funds will lead to more balanced, grounded childhoods. Ashton Kutcher's approach reflects his own middle-class upbringing in Iowa and being mostly self-reliant after leaving home at age 18 to pursue modeling. He wants to instill similar values of earning your own way in his kids. While Wyatt and Dimitri will surely be provided for financially, their famous parents' fortune will largely go towards other causes later rather than dynastic inheritance. For now, Kutcher and Kunis aim to maintain as much normalcy as possible for their young children, Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton was once the embodiment of wealth and celebrity, known for her lavish lifestyle and reality TV fame. At her peak in the mid-2000s, she earned over $10 million annually from endorsements, appearances, and brand adventures. However, Hilton saw a shocking financial downfall in the late 2000s due to reckless overspending. Hilton spent exorbitantly on designer clothing, shoes, and handbags without concern for cost. Her fleets of luxury cars like Bentleys and Rolls Royces came with massive insurance and maintenance bills. She frequented exclusive nightclubs and hosted extravagant parties costing thousands per event. These spending habits quickly depleted her fortune. Poor investment choices and lack of financial management acumen also contributed to her money problems. Additionally, Hilton faced numerous legal issues ranging from DUIs to drug possession charges over the years. The resulting legal fees, fines, and lawsuit settlements further strained her finances. While she tried to build a business empire with perfumes, clothing, and accessories bearing her name, these ventures had mixed success at best. The damage to her reputation from scandals made it difficult to secure high-paying endorsements or appearances. By the late 2000s, Hilton's net worth had dropped significantly from its peak. While still wealthy, she was no longer able to maintain the lavish lifestyle she once enjoyed. Her financial downfall serves as a cautionary tale about reckless overspending among the mega-rich, the Gates children. Bill and Melinda Gates accumulated an unbelievable net worth estimated at $132 billion through Microsoft and Savvy Investing, making them amongst the wealthiest couples globally for decades. However, they do not intend to pass on the bulk of this vast fortune directly to their three beloved children. Jennifer Gates, Rory Gates, and Phoebe Gates. The Gates's offspring will each only inherit a comparatively small $10 million of their parents' estate, while the remaining billions will be directed to philanthropic causes. This represents a mere fraction of the total wealth their famous parents have amassed. In multiple public interviews over the years, Bill Gates has clearly explained his personal philosophy that leaving outright massive multi-billion dollar inheritances to his children could be far more harmful than beneficial. He believes that handing his kids such huge sums could greatly distort and hinder their own lives by removing important motivation, independence, and responsibility. Gates wants his children to feel empowered to find their own careers, passions, and senses of purpose in life beyond their family wealth. To this end, Gates has said his children will be provided with the best possible educational opportunities money can realistically buy. But beyond this, they will be expected to work diligently and forge their own productive paths in society, 
rather than simply living as idle rich heirs to the gate's fortune. His kids will not be raised as billionaires in waiting. Melinda French Gates holds a similar perspective to her ex-husband, having stated publicly their kids will inherit Bill's work ethic along with resources to explore their interests and educations. But for Jennifer, Rory, and Phoebe, being handed the keys to a 132 billion fortune could be an unwanted burden rather than a boon. The Webbers, legendary English composer Andrew Lloyd Webber has amassed a huge fortune estimated between $750 million to $1.2 billion owing to his globally popular musicals like Cats, Evita, and Phantom of the Opera. However, he does not plan to leave this wealth directly as inheritances to his four children when he passes. In interviews, Webber has stated unambiguously that he is not in favor of children suddenly finding a lot of money coming their way, because then they have no incentive to work. His priority is for his kids to learn the importance of establishing careers through diligence and effort. Weber's five children, Imogen, Nicholas, Alistair, William, and Isabella, have grown up aware they will not become massively wealthy from their father's inheritance alone. Lloyd Webber believes having huge fortunes handed to them could hinder motivation and accomplishments. The English composer is committed to philanthropy focused on supporting arts education programs that discover new musical talent and open doors for disadvantaged youth interested in the arts. The bulk of Webber's immense wealth will go towards these social causes. While his children will be provided for financially, they must develop skills and independence to create their own successes distinct from their famous father's legacy. For the next generation of Lloyd Webber's drive matters more than dynastic wealth. Susan Howard and Peter Buffett. Legendary investor Warren Buffett has amassed an astonishing net worth of over $127 billion through his shrewd investments and leadership of Berkshire Hathaway over many decades. The business magnate is revered for his wealth creation prowess. However, Buffett does not intend to pass down anywhere close to the full extent of his vast fortune directly to his three children, Susie, Howard, and Peter. Instead, the billionaire has pledged to give away 99% of his wealth to philanthropic causes over his lifetime. Rather than dynastic inheritance, Buffett's priority is using his resources to benevolently impact society on a large scale. He has devised a structured plan to methodically donate the bulk of his net worth to carefully selected charitable organizations and initiatives. Of Buffett's 90 billion Berkshire stake, 56 billion will go to the Gates Foundation and 17.4 billion to four family charities. Buffett's children will benefit from his financial success, but in limited, targeted ways. In an interview, Buffett succinctly summarized his philosophy. I want to give my kids just enough so that they would feel that they could do anything, but not so much that they would feel like doing nothing. This means Susie, Howard, and Peter will each receive only a small fraction of their father's full fortune. Buffett believes leaving billions could ruin their motivation, work ethic, and self-reliance. By giving them less, he hopes they will be incentivized to find purpose and fulfillment through their own efforts. Warren Buffett's unorthodox philanthropic priorities for his immense wealth have established a new paradigm for billionaire generosity. His commitment to directing resources towards tackling society's most pressing problems will resound for generations to come. For his children, a valuable lesson rather than lavish inheritance may prove more meaningful. Maxima, August, and Aurelia Zuckerberg as the principal co-founder and current CEO of social media giant Meta Platforms, Mark Zuckerberg has amassed an enormous personal fortune, currently estimated at around $141 billion, making him one of the wealthiest people on Earth. However, he does not intend to pass the bulk of this wealth directly down to his three daughters, Maxima, August, and Aurelia. In an open and much-publicized letter addressed to newborn daughter Maxima in 2015, Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan pledged to donate 90% of their family's meta-shares towards philanthropic causes over their lifetime. This was outlined as an effort to promote human advancement, equality, and justice for future generations, rather than simply enhance the family's own wealth. 
Zuckerberg later reiterated in interviews that while his children live comfortably, they do not get everything handed to them with no limitations. He stated that he aims to keep his family grounded and wants to cultivate strong work ethics in his kids early on. For example, Maxima and August have some age-appropriate household chores and have accompanied their parents to the office to witness their focus and dedication firsthand to the company and its global community. Zuckerberg strives to balance providing his daughters with abundant opportunities while also imparting values of humility, diligence, and contribution. While Maxima, August, and Aurelia will surely be provided for financially, they will not inherently become billionaires in their own right through parental inheritance alone. The bulk of Mark Zuckerberg's massive meta-wealth will instead be channeled to causes related to children's education, healthcare improvements, scientific research, and much more over the coming decades. Ella Craig Daniel Craig, known for portraying James Bond in several films, has amassed an estimated net worth of $160 million over his decades-long career. However, despite his immense wealth, the British actor does not plan to leave substantial inheritances to his two children, Ella Craig and her sibling. In interviews, Craig has cited businessman Andrew Carnegie as an inspiration for his stance on inheritance. Carnegie, who died in 1919, gave away over 90% of his wealth to charities and foundations before his death. Similarly, Craig wants his children to earn their own money through hard work and determination rather than rely on family wealth. He believes that leaving massive inheritances removes motivation and self-reliance in children. In his view, children should strive to pave their own paths and careers based on merit rather than receiving handouts. Though his kids will not be left destitute, they will need to be financially independent and responsible for earning their own fortunes. Craig has received some criticism for this unconventional parenting philosophy from those who believe children deserve to inherit family wealth. However, he remains steadfast in not wanting his millions to act as an albatross around their necks. For Ella Craig and her sibling, this means they will need to develop their own careers and financial resources without dependence on their father's bond riches. Etta and J.C. Chan Legendary Hong Kong martial arts superstar Jackie Chan has earned an enormous estimated fortune of around $400 million over his long, decorated career spanning over 60 films. However, he has made it very clear that he does not intend to pass the bulk of this wealth down to his two children, Etta Ung Chok Lam and J.C. Chan. In numerous candid interviews over the past decade, Chan has indicated that any inheritance his kids receive from his estate will be extremely limited in nature compared to the full extent of his riches. He has expressed a strong personal desire and philosophy that his son JC in particular should have to make his own way in the world largely through self-reliance, resilience, and hard work. Chan believes that simply bestowing his son with millions in inherited wealth could act as an unwanted burden, removing motivation and character-building struggle. The martial arts legend feels that handouts of any large portion of his money to his children, especially his son JC, risk indulging idleness and entitlement versus personal responsibility. Chan's perspective on steering his children away from dependence on family wealth gained particular public prominence in 2014 when JC, then 31, was arrested on drug charges after testing positive for marijuana use in Beijing, China. As a high-profile Chinese goodwill ambassador publicly advocating against drug use, Jackie Chan felt deeply embarrassed and disappointed by his son's actions. The incident seemed to harden Chan's stance on not spoiling his son and reinforced his belief that JC needed to learn independence rather than rely on the family's fame and fortune. In his candid 2011 memoirs, Never Grow Up, Jackie Chan was open about his own past struggles with alcohol overuse and gambling addiction early in his career. Now as a father, he wants to try to spare JC from similar pitfalls brought on by the trappings of wealth and privilege. By strongly encouraging JC to chart his own course in life guided by self-discipline, Chan hopes to instill greater maturity, personal responsibility, and strength of character in his son as he grows into adulthood. While some may see Chan's vocal approach as harsh, he maintains that avoiding handing over his millions is the best way to motivate JC to work diligently 
and determine his own destiny and values. For both Jackie Chan's children, Etta and JC, their world-famous father's staggering 400 million fortune will remain largely out of reach over the long term. But perhaps in return, they will inherit something far more valuable, independence, accountability, and inner strength. Michael Bloomberg's children. Michael Bloomberg served three terms as mayor of New York City from 2002 to 2013. However, his political career is only a small part of how he amassed his current astonishing net worth of around $96.3 billion. The bulk of Bloomberg's wealth comes from the founding of financial data and media giant Bloomberg LP back in 1981. With this immense fortune, Bloomberg could easily leave billions to his two daughters Georgina and Emma as an inheritance. However, the billionaire philanthropist has publicly pledged to give away the majority of his wealth to charitable causes instead. Bloomberg signed the Giving Pledge in 2010, committing to donate over 50% of his vast fortune, either in his lifetime or through his will. In his pledge letter, Bloomberg insisted, Nearly all of my net worth will be given away in the years ahead or left to my foundation. While Bloomberg's daughters will surely be provided for financially, they will not inherit their father's 96.3 billion fortune outright. This is by design, as Bloomberg believes his resources are better directed at philanthropic causes versus dynastic wealth. Georgina and Emma seem to share this mindset, both playing active roles in their father's charitable mission. They serve as board members of Bloomberg Philanthropies, helping direct billions to causes improving public health, medical research, education, the arts, and more worldwide. For Georgina and Emma, their famous father's example provides the opportunity to participate directly in enacting positive change at scale. Rather than simply living as idle rich heirs, they work to deploy resources effectively and strategically. George Lucas's Children Legendary filmmaker George Lucas stands as one of the wealthiest directors and creative minds in Hollywood history. Having amassed a personal fortune in excess of $10 billion, largely derived from the epic Star Wars franchise he created. However, his four children, Amanda, Jet, Katie, and Everest, are not necessarily set to inherit remotely that level of wealth. In his 2010 public letters unveiling the Giving Pledge initiative alongside billionaires Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, George Lucas made clear his aim to commit to donating the majority of his net worth to charitable causes during his lifetime rather than passing said fortune down to family. He specified that his overarching intent with such immense resources was to improve education, which he sees as the key to the survival of the human race. Rather than bequeathing billions to his children, Lucas intends for the bulk of his wealth to fund programs focused on improving equal access to quality education and uplifting standards for those most in need. While Lucas's four children, both adopted and biological ranging from young adults to infants, will surely be provided for. They are not expected to become billionaires in their own right solely through parental inheritance. Their father's vast fortune will instead primarily go towards the educational philanthropic initiatives he is passionate about. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Having one million is great, but having one billion makes you set for life. A billion dollars is an astonishingly large amount of money. Saving $100 per day would take over 27,000 years to accumulate a billion. Even spending $1 every second, it would take almost 32 years to spend a billion. Yet surprisingly, there are some billionaire kids who are now broke. Allegedly, a 19-year-old daughter of a Russian businessman inherited one point billion. She thought she could spend freely and never run out. At first, that seemed to be true. But then she allegedly got involved in criminal activities, tax evasion, fraud schemes, to increase her fortune. When one of her companies was accused of tax fraud, authorities uncovered more discrepancies. Facing multiple charges, within a decade she went from billionaire to broke. What are your thoughts on these crazy sums of money? If you had such wealth, what would you do with it? Let us know in the comments. The Ramsey Kids Celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay has amassed a fortune of around $220 million through his culinary empire of restaurants, TV shows, books, and more. However, 
Ramsay has been very vocal that he does not plan to leave this wealth to his five children, Megan, Holly, Jack, Matilda, and Oscar. Ramsay believes that leaving large inheritances would spoil them and remove any motivation to work hard. He wants his kids to understand the importance of building careers through one's own diligence and efforts, rather than relying on family money. The chef has said he is not interested in leaving behind funds for his children to live an easy, comfortable life. In line with this belief, Ramsey also will not be handing job opportunities directly to his kids at his own restaurants or shows. He wants them to gain experience outside his supervision and make it in the working world based on their own skills, not his fame. Ramsey has said all his children will have to start at the bottom at other chefs' restaurants if they want to go into the hospitality industry. While some may see his stance as harsh, Ramsey sees it as ensuring his kids develop a strong work ethic versus falling into the trap of entitlement. His no-inheritance policy aims to instill the value of independence and self-sufficiency in his children from a young age. For the Ramsey kids, this means relying on their own talents and putting in hard work to achieve financial and career success. Reed Hastings' Children Reed Hastings serves as the co-founder and CEO of the hugely successful streaming media service Netflix, which boasts over 230 million subscribers worldwide as of 2023. His visionary leadership has led to an estimated personal net worth of $5.6 billion. However, his children are not set to inherit the majority of these billions due to Hastings and his wife taking the Giving Pledge. Hastings and his spouse Patty Quillen signed the Giving Pledge in 2020, committing to give away the bulk of their wealth to charitable causes during their lifetimes. Their donation focus is on education, which they see as the key pathway to greater equality of opportunity in society. The couple has already made huge donations to education initiatives, including $120 million to historically black colleges and universities in the U.S., and over $30 million towards college scholarships for Hispanic students. Their philanthropic efforts aim to make quality education accessible to disadvantaged groups. While the details of Reed Hastings' will remain private, signing the Giving Pledge along with his wife's statements indicates their children will receive only a small portion of their billion-dollar fortune. The bulk will fund causes like education rather than becoming inheritances, Bernard Marcus's children. Bernard Marcus co-founded the home improvement retail giant Home Depot in the 1970s and amassed a vast fortune of $9.7 billion. But rather than pass these billions to his kids, Marcus has already donated over $2 billion to charitable causes and pledged the rest prior to his death. Marcus has been adamant since signing the giving pledge that the bulk of his wealth will go towards philanthropy, not inheritance. His children, Frederick and Suzanne from his first marriage, and Michael, from his second, will need to forge their own paths. In interviews, Marcus has insisted he sees leaving billions to his kids as removing their motivation. It's simple. I've got all the houses I need. My kids are taken care of. Everything I live for now is finding the right things to put my money into, and that can give me a rate of return in emotion and doing good things for this world, he stated. Marcus's donations focus on medical research, Jewish organizations, and helping the downtrodden. Some of his major gifts include $250 million to build the Georgia Aquarium and $20 million to the Autism Treatment Center. While financially secure, his children will not inherit anything close to billions. Turner family. Media mogul Ted Turner has amassed an immense fortune of around $2.5 billion primarily through founding CNN and other ventures over his decades-long career. However, Turner does not intend to pass this wealth down to his five children, Teddy, Bo, Rhett, Jenny, and Laura, as substantial inheritances. Instead, Turner has committed to donating nearly his entire net worth to philanthropic causes, largely through the Giving Pledge. In his pledge letter, Turner stated, At the time of my death, virtually all my wealth will have gone to charity. While allowing his five kids to participate in some of his charitable initiatives, Turner does not plan to leave them with anything remotely close to billions as inheritances. In fact, he has expressed that upon his death, he hopes to have given so much to charity that only enough money remains to cover basic funeral costs. 
Turner's vast wealth will instead go towards causes like environmental sustainability, nuclear disarmament, United Nations programs, healthcare initiatives, and more. He aims to create positive change at scale rather than perpetuate dynastic wealth within the family. For Turner's five children, this means they will need to establish careers, passion projects, and independence without reliance on their father's billions as a safety net. Turner prioritizes philanthropy over inheritance. Lorene Powell, Jobs' Children. When tech icon Steve Jobs passed away in 2011, his widow Loreen Powell Jobs inherited billions in wealth from his shares in Apple and Disney. Her estimated net worth stands at around $24 billion, making her one of the wealthiest women globally. However, she has expressed little interest in leaving this fortune directly to their three children. In interviews, Powell Jobs has unambiguously stated she is not interested in legacy wealth building for the next generation. She and Steve Jobs' three kids, Reed, Eve, and Aaron, will not become billionaires purely through parental inheritance. Steve Jobs' daughter from a previous relationship, Lisa Brennan Jobs, already inherited millions directly from her late father's estate. Powell Jobs aims to use the bulk of the remaining billions philanthropically, though the exact plans remain private. While Powell Jobs' three children will surely be provided for financially, they will not inherit their father's tech fortune outright. They will need to forge their own paths and find purpose beyond their parents' wealth. However, Lorene sees value in modeling hard work and determination for them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.